Principality of Liechtenstein. Government, Unitary Parliamentary Constitutional Monarchy. Ruler, Franz Josef I. Area, 61 square miles. Population, 9.5 thousand. The Principality takes its name from the Liechtenstein family rather than vice versa, and the family in turn takes its name from the Liechtenstein Castle in Laura, Austria which it owned from 1140 until the 13th century and from 1807 onwards. Over the centuries, the family acquired huge landed estates, mostly Moravia, Lower Austria, and Styria. These lands were under fief of other more senior lords of various lineage lines, primarily the Habsburgs, who many of the Liechtenstein in line were advisors for. This prohibited the dynasty from having a seat in the Reichstag, even though the family was given prince rank in the late 17th century. Bavaria intended to gain this land through a massive centralization program that had started to take place in 1802 within the empire. They were stopped by the dissolution of the Holy Roman Empire in 1806, and Liechtenstein became a sovereign state later that year when it joined Napoleon's Confederation of the Rhine. The French under Napoleon occupied the country for a few years, but it retained its independence in 1815. Soon afterward, Liechtenstein joined the German Confederation and adopted a constitution in 1819, although it was rather limited in nature. In 1862, a new constitution was proclaimed, which provided for a diet representative of the people. In 1868, after the German Confederation dissolvement, Liechtenstein disbanded its army of 80 men and declared its permanent neutrality. The nation didn't see any fighting during World War I, and no real action took place on its soil. They did accept limited amounts of deserters once the Italian front opened up, but closed their borders shortly after, as they did not wish to strain their population limit. Food charges occurred during the latter end of the conflict, especially with a spike in the population, going from 7,400 to over 9,500 during the war years. The state was closely tied to Austria economically, as most of its wealth came from the family estates in the empire. During the first year of the war, the Swiss attempted to bring Liechtenstein under their control in some form or fashion, like it had tried to during the late 19th century. This didn't happen until the end of the war, when the economy of Austria, which Liechtenstein was closely tied to, collapsed, and they were forced to enter into a customs union with the Swiss. Principality of Monaco, Government, Unitary Constitutional Monarchy, Roller Albert I, Area 0.98 square miles, Population 21,000. Monaco was originally a Greek colony under the name of Monacos. The name comes from the variation of the demigod Hercules. They said that Hercules constructed the ancient passage between Spain and Italy. Roman Emperor Julian the Apposite does make mention of the construction of the road and development of a city at Monaco. Shrines dotted the entire length of the road, and on the rock of Monaco itself, a temple was, was said to have been constructed in honor of Hercules. After the Gaelic Wars, which saw the entirety of Gaul coming under Roman scrutiny, was the last time that any temples to Hercules were mentioned. No archaeological evidence has been done, but due to the rocky terrain of Monaco, any further excavations are unlikely. The area was taken over by the Ostrogoths, who lost it to the Romans, who in turn lost it to the Lombards, where it switched hands between them and the Franks for nearly three centuries. The constant raids into the area nearly completely depopulated the region, and by the 11th century, the Ligarians were the main culture within Monaco. The King of France agreed to have Monaco become a protectorate in 1641. Between 1793 and 1814, Monaco was occupied by the French. The principality was re-established in 1814, only to be designed a protectorate of the Kingdom of Sardinia by the Congress of Vienna. Monaco remained in this position until 1860, when, by the Treaty of Turin, the Sardinian forces pulled out of the Principality and the surrounding county of Nice was ceded to France. Monaco became a French protectorate once again. Prior to this time, there was unrest in Menton and Rembrun, where the townspeople had become wary of the heavy taxation. They declared their independence, hoping for annexation by Sardinia, which France protested. 
The unrest continued until Charles III gave up his claim to the main two land towns, which was some 95% of the principality at the time, that had been ruled by the family for over 500 years. For 4.1 million francs, the transfer and Monaco sovereignty were recognized by the franco monconese Treaty of 1861. In 1869, the principality stopped collecting income tax from its residents and was only able to do so due to a casino that was in the country. This means that it was a, that it was a favorite location for the rich to live. Until the Monaco's Revolution of 1910 forced the adoption of a constitution, the princes of Monaco were absolute rulers. The war didn't affect the nation in any way, really, and in 1918, the protection of Monaco did befall onto France. Republica San Marino, Government Unitary Parliamentary Directional Republic, Ruler Domenico Fattori, Area 0.67 square miles, Population 12,000. San Marino, the world's fifth smallest state, claims to be the world's oldest surviving republic. According to tradition, San Marino was founded in 301 AD when a Christian stonemason named St. Marinus emigrated from the Dalmatian island of Rob, then a Roman colony. Finding persecution of his Christian beliefs, Marinus hid on the peak of Mount Adano and founded a small community following Christian beliefs. No true evidence exists for a community on the mountain until the start of the Middle Ages, however, and a state-run governmental system isn't mentioned until the mid-13th century. The micronation was able to protect itself by allying with the Papal States, that for a long stretch of time was the main power in Italy. When Italy unified, it saw, it saw little reason to risk the foreign repercussions of annexing the little nation. When World War I was declared, the nation stayed neutral even when the Italians joined the war. The Italians wanted San Marino to join the Entente as they feared that the nation could harbor Austrian spies. When the government refused, the Italians cut off all phone lines leaving San Marino. While the nation did stay neutral, two groups of ten men each joined the Italians. One of them was the fighting contingent, and the other was hospital aides. When the Austrians learned of these two groups, they severed all ties with San Marino. I hope you enjoyed the brief look into the small often forgotten neutral nations of World War I. If you wish to learn more about these countries, click all through here for what they were doing during World War II. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time.